so thank you all. Um, and thank you, Charlie. That was a great introduction. You didn't have to quite quote me. Um, <laughs> but um, and as you know, Charlie's an amazing young man with an incredible future ahead of him. So we had this get to know each other call a couple weeks ago, and I was really enjoying our conversation. And, and then in preparation for tonight, uh, Charlie started asking me really tough questions. Um, and I had to pull myself together. But that's when I met Junior ROTC Battalion Commander Charles Hammond. <laughs> and as you heard, Battalion Commander Hammock has 160 cadets under his command. Okay. So he looks like an ordinary teenager, but do not be fooled. <laughs> Um, now that was the second time I, w I experienced a surprise related to this evening. My first surprise was on August 31st of last year when I naively went to the Junior Achievement Offices for a casual meeting with my friend John Hancock. <laughs> John asked me to get together and I thought he needed my help. When I got there, another friend, Tad Hutchison, was there. But again, you know, Tad is the chair of the Junior Achievement Board, so I didn't think anything of it. Now, my two friends invited me into the office to join them, and from that point, the recollection gets a little blurry. I heard John say, we want to congratulate you, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Inducted, wah, 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 you know, Hall of Fame. And then he was projecting a document that had my name and Junior Achievement Hall of Business Fame, Business Hall of Fame on it. And, and I, I sort of recall just sitting there staring at them. To say that I was surprised, it would be a serious understatement. And here I am, this evening, being inducted with my friend Ed Bastian, and all I can think about is how incredibly blessed I am. Growing up as a native of Atlanta, I went out of state, as you heard, to college, University of Rochester in Rochester, New York, although my dad really wanted me to go to Spelman. <laughs> I, returned home, I returned home with a job, with Deloitte, but shortly thereafter, joined the Coca-Cola company in an entry-level senior accountant position. I spent 32 wonderful years at Coca-Cola, having the great fortune to work with amazing people around the world. And eventually, I was able to make my dad very proud by joining the board of Spelman College. <laughs> He was also proud when I became the CFO of the Coca-Cola Company, but I don't think he fully understood my job. <laughs> and then, while I was CFO, I joined the board of Delta Airlines, another proud moment. During my 32 years at Coke, I spent most of my career outside of Atlanta, so much so that when I retired, two things were important to me. One was to keep learning, and the other was to get back in touch with my community. I did join the boards of three other great companies after I retired, two of which, Cadence Bank and CGI, have a significant presence here in Atlanta. <laughs> and I went on an Atlanta learning journey, which led me to get more involved in the leadership of uh, Atlanta Rotary and the Woodruff Arts Center. I also joined the boards of Achieve Atlanta and the Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta. Finally, I was able to participate in Leadership Atlanta as part of the class of 2022, where I met my classmate, John Hancock, and learned that junior achievement is no longer the junior achievement that I participated in when I was in high school. I was thoroughly enjoying everything that I was involved in, and then, late 2021, I received a call about the executive director position with the Atlanta Committee for Progress. Now, I won't bore you with all the deliberations a retired person goes through when they're thinking about doing something crazy like going back to work. Um, <clears throat> but I got advice from two people, Frank Blake and Ed Bastian. And they both told me that I needed to make sure that I was going to have the right level of support to be able to make a meaningful difference with the job. They recommended that before, take, before even thinking about taking the job, I speak with the chair of the committee and with the mayor. So in January of 2022, I had one of the best conversations I have had with anyone with Ryan Marshall. 
and he was the ACP chair that year. And when I left him, I was really ready to sign on the bottom line, but I had to see the process through. And then I met our mayor. And well, you all know him, so I had to face the fact that I was going back to work. <laughs> so now I have a job where I work on initiatives that support the mayor and the city of Atlanta. I work for a board of 40, yes, 40, civic and corporate leaders that believe in the promise of a great future for Atlanta. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, here I am. I thank the Junior Achievement Board and the Atlanta Business Chronicle for this incredible honor. I thank Kenny and my family for always being there for me. Y your love and support means everything to me. I thank my friends, my family from Coca-Cola, from Delta, my ACP team and board, and many of you in this room that I serve with in various ways in the community for this opportunity to learn, work, and grow with you. I am very proud to be joining Ed Bastian, one of the best leaders I have had the pleasure to work with, and this prestigious list of laureates as an inductee into the Hall of Fame. And my promise to them and to you is to earn this honor every day. Thank you.